A little bit of good news and some not so good news on the coronavirus front. First, new modeling suggests a majority of the country may have some immunity to COVID-19. Stacey Spanos joining us to tell us about the not so good news at this point. Stacey? Yeah, Kent, there is another variant out there and experts who have studied it say it appears to be more contagious than Omicron. Scientists have confirmed a mutation of Omicron is out there. Right now they're calling it BA2, but it could soon get assigned a Greek letter of its own. In some nations like Denmark, India, the Philippines, um, South Africa, it's actually become the predominant variant. Dr. Um, Shalika Karugaha is an infectious disease expert for Baptist Health Hospitals and says as contagious as Omicron was, this new variant could be even more contagious. In one of the studies, it was 1.5 times more transmissible. There is early evidence suggesting that it may be able to avoid, evade vaccines more so than BA1, more so than our traditional Omicron variant. The latest data shows 96% of the COVID cases in the U.S. are the Omicron or BA1 variant, and only 4% are the new BA2 variant. But that could change. The good news is that right now the new variant does not appear to be more severe than Omicron and that 73 percent of Americans could have some overall immunity to the COVID-19 virus. But Dr. Karugaha says don't let that information make you put your guard down. Vaccines and boosters still important. Yes, absolutely. 100 percent. There is there's still a population at 20 some percent in this country who are not protected. And that's actually you know, millions, a substantial number in this country. Um, so absolutely, you need to get the vaccine and then be up to date with your boosters. And you may be wondering if I've had COVID already, am I immune to this new variant? Dr. Karugaha says there's not enough evidence yet to make that determination. Mary?